So welcome out to South Park, y'all. And I'll tell you, we have had ourselves a time. So dad, what did you think for your first day out cycle touring with me? I loved it. I loved it. What an exciting thing to do. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened on our way over here? Well, it was quite a climb, a couple thousand feet. And in a number, I think we, anyway, we made it in record time. Oh, there's the signs. You know what that means. We're at the top. Continental Divide Pass number six. And check this out. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Uh, got to the top, started, the weather started changing a bit. Uh, in fact, it started charge, changing quite a bit and ended up being a thunder, lightning, and hail storm with like torrential raindrops coming down and we had a hillside, a dirt and rock uh, road to come down in the middle of this incredible storm. Fortunately, we stopped up on the top of the hill when we saw it off to the, to the, in the distance coming. We got into our rain gear and it's a good thing because there, there would have been no place to stop and change without all of our stuff getting totally, totally wet. We'd have to open up our bags. So uh, we're not really dry, but we're setting up for a dry night. Good yep. change of clothes. Yeah, and now it's starting to get pretty and sunny out again. Look at that. That's going to be our day tomorrow. So heroic! Oh. This, is Aaron, this is Aaron crossing the Henry Ford. We're fording the Henry River. Now it's Dad's turn to do the Harrison, or Henry Ford. This is the Henry Ford. I think you'll figure it out. It's, it's not that complicated. <laughs> it's only like oh, no it's only like all. three inches deep <laughs> have our first view of the Sawich Range 14ers which means these mountains are over 14,000 feet tall okay okay I have a better view for you guys hold on a second this is gonna require my actual camera oh my god We made it! You probably won't even notice when we walk by. That's even worse than in Carmel Valley. Yeah. He don't give any craps at all. Hey dude, that's their pet deer, that's why. Guys, I don't know if this is a bad sign or not, but my fortune cookie had nothing in it. I hope it's not bad. Today is one of the heftiest climbs so far on the divide, and where we're heading is up towards Marshall Pass, which from Salida up to there is about 26 miles, and in that time you climb nearly 4,000 feet. By the time we've gotten on this road, after only 10 miles we've already done 1,000 feet, and over the next 15 we have about 3,000 feet more to go. 
So that puts us up over the Marshall Pass and then it's just straight downhill for equal amount of time down into a little area called Sargent's. They were just that lazy, they couldn't go that extra 20 feet into the air with the road. Yeah, they, had to cut they had to cut here. <laughs> Hallelujah. What? What could that be? Holy oh my goodness! Holy hole in the donut, Batman! <laughs> Continental Divide Pass number 17. Yeah, buddy. So today, I'm testing out a product. It's not new, but it's new to me, and it is chamois butter. Bah. Bah. Oh, that feels weird. We were debating whether the second battery was really needed. Yes. Bundling up for that. Oh man. The hail's already starting. This is something. Hold on, damn it. 18. This is Continental Divide Pass number 18. Two miles to camp. Whee! Downhill, too. Our campsite we stayed at last night had no water. So we rode about six miles down the hill until we found the first stream. And now we finally can have our morning coffee. <laughs> <laughs> 